I think the librarian is the natural ally of the Wikipedian because we're both communities that, that use incredible pedantry for public good. <laughs> and so uh, librarians, uh, Brian Kelly did this blog post that, uh, of uh, the attributes of a librarian and the attributes of Wikipedia, and they map perfectly. Um, uh, although he, he doubted that, that Wikipedians are interested in books, but in my experience, Wikipedians are really interested in books. They're more interested in my book collection now and digging through it as a Wikipedian. So librarians, I, I've had the greatest negativity and also the greatest positivity from the, the academic librarian community in doing Wikimedia outreach. And some see it as kind of threatening, they see themselves as kind of gatekeepers to expensive databases and tools and... Um, uh, we're not going to bother with this freely available public stuff. And some see them sort of curators and spreaders of knowledge and enablers of digital literacy. And here's something where you can teach them literacy because the publication process is open. It's not like the textbook. You get the textbook and there's been an editing process, there's been controversy, but you don't see that, you just see the finished item. With Wikipedia, you can actually see the battles being fought, like, like different factions trying to fight um, over that. So... Um, Learn about these hidden pictures, the reviews, the article histories, the, the debates, the controversy, the, the, the different quality standards, and teach students this and teach them to... Uh, yeah, that's a crucial part of induction, that a lot of educators and librarians in universities and schools are still trying to tell learners to, to pretend Wikipedia doesn't exist. Don't use it at all. And then, uh, and then they'll, they'll have a question like... An assignment like what political philosophy is John Locke associated with, and the student goes and searches Google and it takes them to Wikipedia about John Locke, and it says, uh, and it gives the exact form of words which answers the question. So they copy that and put it, and they get marks for it. So they're told not to use Wikipedia, but they're given marks for using it. That's bad. We can't pretend it doesn't exist. We have to engage with it, including uh, pointing out its faults, which is fine. As for the 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 mountains of stuff, digital and books that the academic librarians are sitting on, yeah, open that up. I open up events where people can come in and photograph special collections and, uh, and actually encourage them to upload to Commons. So I've just written a book chapter about DIY digitization and some special collections invite the public in and say, bring your phone, photograph a document, um, but, but keep the, the image to yourself or only share it under a, a fully copyrighted license. And uh, no, you, if, you, if you have that, that gift of being able to interact with this physical document, this piece of cultural heritage, give that opportunity to other people. Don't restrict the benefits to yourself. And the best way to share that with other people is put it on Commons, tag it, put all the, the identifiers for where it came from, where, where this physical thing is. And yeah, give us your stuff. Give us your stuff, please. Uh, the I used University of Bristol electronic resources to improve Wikipedia, and that's probably the the application of some of those resources that gets the biggest readership. Like I say, tens of thousands of people a day. So don't treat it as something embarrassing, that, <laughs> or, or uh, something. That, but it's the main function of the library in preserving that knowledge and that scholarship. Sorry, it's a bit of a rant, but. <laughs> <laughs>